Karl Marx had his manifesto, and uh, the effects of that were quite devastating. But if you go to the Lausanne webpage, you could find the Business as Mission manifesto, and that is quite uplifting. That was the tip of the day. I've been asked to talk about business as mission, successes and failures. Business as mission is about being a follower of Jesus in business to the ends of the earth and to be faithful in that calling. But as we do that, we can also ask questions, what is working, what isn't working? But you can only talk about successes and failures if you know what is the purpose. What are the objectives of business as mission and what is the focus? Business as mission is about real business. It's not visa platforms. It's not business as a disguise to do the real ministry. It is real business, profitable, viable, sustainable, growing businesses. But it's more than business because the mafia also does business. <laughs> When we talk about business as mission, we talk about kingdom of God, purpose, perspective, and impact. And that means it's more than evangelism. It is more than church planting. The genocide in Rwanda, in a very Christian country where 90% or so of the population were members of various churches shows us that it's inadequate to have church planting and church growth as a success criteria. Business as mission is about kingdom of God purpose, perspective, and impact so that there is a holistic transformation of people and societies through business. Business as mission believe that God has the power to transform. Do you believe that? Can God transform people socially, physically, economically, and societies? Business as mission is seeing that transformation through business. Business is a godly instrument. It is not an excuse. Business is not a distraction. And since we talk about transformation, we have an emphasis on SMEs, which means small, medium-sized enterprises. Because we know from economics and from business that small and medium-sized businesses have a great transformational power. And if we are looking at transformation as an objective, we also need to look at what instruments have the greatest transformational power. Business as mission takes business seriously and mission seriously, being a follower of Jesus to all peoples, to the least, the lost, and the lowliest. And thus, we cannot help but have a focus on the Arab world and Asia. In mission terms, 1040 window, where there is a concentration of needs, economical needs, social needs, environmental needs, spiritual needs. These are some of our objectives, and from these objectives, we can see how are we succeeding or are we failing. BAM is a city in Iran, but here it means business as mission. It's an acronym. I've come across and I've met people on two business as mission cafes and restaurants in the Middle East. 
in a major Muslim country. Both had good intentions and ambitions. But do remember, the road to hell is filled with good intentions. <laughs> now, one failed and one succeeded. Similar kind of business, same town, town same ambitions, same hopes, but why did one succeed and why did one fail? One business had and the other one lacked. Professionalism, excellence, and integrity. And let me unpack those three things and then I'm done. The end is near. Sounds ominous. Because business as mission is about professionalism, excellence, and integrity. <clears throat> professionalism means that God calls and equips people to do business, and they thrive on it. They love it. One reason so many business as mission attempts fail is the wrong people trying to do the right thing. We need to be professional. And if you compare the two cafes in the Middle East, some were missionaries trying to do the right thing, but they were not equipped for the task. Excellence. Excellence in business. A passion to serve people. Because business is about serving people and glorifying God through good products and good services. Doing business with integrity in all relationships. What does that mean? May your kingdom come. May your will be done. As I do human resource management. I dislike that term. But as I talk to my staff, may your kingdom come and may Christ shine through me when I deal with my suppliers. May I be a genuine follower of Jesus as I deal with clients and customers and as I deal with the tax authorities and as I try to serve the community in and around me. Two more things. Those of you who are called to business, could you please stand up? Remain standing. Okay. I want to, you know, you have to pay for this, um, you know, presentation. <laughs> That's all. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Donations, please. No, no, no. I just want to tell you. If God has called you to business, do not lower yourself to become a pastor. You may be seated. And if God has called you to be a pastor, don't lower yourself to become a lawyer or whatever. <laughs> whatever God has called you to do, that is your highest calling. Amen? Amen.